Ninth Circuit. Registration of photo database supports statutory damages for each photo. The Ninth Circuit has affirmed a federal district court's ruling that the owner of a collection of photos was entitled to statutory damages for each infringed photo even though the owner had registered the collection with the U.S. Copyright Office as a single database. The case involves the Zillow Online Real Estate Marketplace. As the court noted, VHT is the largest professional real estate photography studio in the country, and thousands of the copyrighted photos on Zillow's site come from VHT. Veet's clients, which include real estate brokerages and listing services, hire VHT to take photos of properties for marketing purposes. These photos are edited by VHT, saved in VHT's electronic photo database, and then delivered to its clients subject to VHT's license agreement. In a previous decision, the Ninth Circuit agreed with the district court that Zillow was not liable for direct, secondary, or contributory infringement. However, the court also found that Zillow's addition of searchable functionality on its Digs home design webpages was not fair use under copyright law. In that earlier case, the court reversed the jury's finding that Zillow had willfully infringed 2,700 searchable photos displayed on Digs and remanded for consideration of statutory damages and a determination whether VHT's photos used on Digs are part of a compilation or if they are individual photos. VHT sought statutory rather than actual damages for the copyright infringement by Zillow. Copyright owners are eligible to claim statutory damages when they register a work with the U.S. Copyright Office either 1. within three months of publication of the work, or 2. before the infringement starts. Although VHT Group registered its images as compilation, it also registered the underlying individual images and licensed these images on a per-image or per-property basis. The Ninth Circuit thus held that the photos had independent economic value separate from the database and thus didn't qualify as one work. This decision is good news for photographers, who would prefer not to pay to register each of their photos with the Copyright Office. Need to copyright your photos? Visit us at www.eonlaw.com. Eon Law Unleashing Genius